Let's talk about photorespiration today. This video is made by Billy Ray and Tyler Riggs. Photosynthesis and photorespiration are both reactions controlled by an enzyme code called ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase, or rubisco. When acting as a carboxylase, rubisco attacks ox carbon dioxide and leads to photosynthesis. Under normal environmental conditions, rubisco can also act as an oxygenase and attack oxygen. This happens when oxygen levels are high and carbon dioxide levels are low. This can also happen under high temperatures. When the oxygen levels become high enough, rubisco acts as an oxygenase and begins the process known as photorespiration. Photorespiration takes up oxygen and gives off CO2, unlike how most plants are meant to function. Photorespiration takes place in the chloroplast, peroxisome, and mitochondria. Through a series of reactions, rubisco attacks oxygen, eventually forming phosphoglycolate. Phosphoglycolate loses a phosphate, becoming glycolate. Glycolate attacks oxygen and becomes glycoxylate in the peroxisome. Glycoxylate undergoes transanimation to become glycine. Glycine then loses carbon dioxide and ammonia to become serine. This reaction hydrolyzes ATP. The lost carbon dioxide can eventually pass from the mitochondria back to the chloroplast and into the Calvin cycle and go through photosynthesis. To give an idea of the extensiveness of the reactions that are undergone in photorespiration, let's look at the first step of photorespiration, the conversion of ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate to phosphoglycolate. Catalyzed by enzyme B, rubisco transitions to an inindolate intermediate. The inindolate intermediate attacks oxygen. Water attacks the middle carbonyl carbon, forming a negative charge. The negative charge redistributes and kicks off the OH group as a leaving group. This then forms 2 and 3 phosphoglycolate, completing the first type of photorespiration. Some plants have an additional photosynthetic pathway that, that uses the released carbon dioxide from photorespiration and conserves it. These plants are called C4 plants because they use carbon dioxide in a pathway called the C4 cycle. Instead of using a 3 carbon chain as its intermediate, it uses a 4 carbon chain. C4 plants are found in the tropics under high temperatures. We hope you enjoyed our video about photorespiration.